Now this, Microsoft. Yeah, full disclosure, of course, I do own a little of that stock, and it's at a record high. How about that? Well, Microsoft could face a class action lawsuit. It's accused of gender discrimination. Judge Napolitano is here. Okay, accused of gender discrimination. What are the plaintiffs alleging? There are three plaintiffs, three female plaintiffs, who claim a systematic uh, institutional effort by Microsoft to fail properly to evaluate the worth of female employees. Microsoft denies it. Microsoft's willing to settle with them. That's not the issue. The issue is they want to represent a class of all 86 hundred present and past female employees at Microsoft and a federal judge in San Francisco of all places threw it out. Okay. They announced last night they're going to appeal to the Ninth Circuit. That's where the case is. Okay. Now, are the other plaintiffs, are they making a statistical argument, which is there's not enough women in higher levels of management. You're discriminated against us. Or are they making an actual in, uh, implication that you wouldn't promote me because I'm a woman? And it happened in this particular okay, instance. That's a great question, Stuart. It's actually a hybrid of both. Because this is Microsoft, there is a computer program that managers apply to evaluate ah, employees, that's it, that's right? It. And these people have found an expert to say there is a gender bias built into the computer program. That's it. This federal judge spent 68 pages of single-spaced print, which I read for you this morning, hmm. blowing that out of the water and showing how it is not System. This is the trial judge now when he threw it out. It is not systematically biased against women. Last night, the lawyer for the women announced we're going to appeal it to the Ninth Circuit. That's where this case stands. Are you Italian? Did you, but did you know this before you asked the question what no, the answer was no, going to be? You were right on the mark. Thank you very much indeed. You are very obviously of Italian extraction. The, the reason you you're your so hands? happy is because your shares of Microsoft <laughs> did not go down as a result of My this. My IFB just came out. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait a second, so wait a you second. can't hear them yelling at you. We've got a much more serious subject here, All right. apart from Microsoft. In a segment we just did about 10 minutes ago, we talked about these nine airports where they're using facial recognition technology. And they've caught, what is it, like 1,300 yeah. immigrants. Is that what the recognition illegal. technology is for? Well, no, it's not. But that's what it's being, that's how it is being used. And I've got a problem with that. And I think you do too. Yes, I do. It's like London. You know, if we're going to become like London, it should be done by the popular branches. It should be done by Congress after a great national debate. It should not be a decision made unilaterally by some bureaucrats to purchase this equipment. If we want to give up all of our privacy by having the government recognize our faces and compare the algorithm on the face to any other computer program they have, it should be done by the consent of the American people. It was not. Do, do the people watching this show now know that when they walk through an airport, the government's taking their picture yeah. and comparing it to government databases? Well, these are, no wait, one knows these this are, is Sorry, happening. these are congressional mandates to do this, for, that the Customs, Borders, and Protection Security personnel would do this. Mandates that have been out there for years that Congress put in place to have biometric facial recognition. They caught one woman who's been here for 24 years overstaying her visa. But I see your p privacy point. It's well taken. It should be noted that the LAPD and New York Police Department use facial recognition as well. No vote by the city council. Police just went out and bought this stuff.